We might not have found life on Mars yet, but signs of seismic activity could offer clues about whether humans could one day visit the red planet. Scientists in Switzerland have been studying a recent 4.6 magnitude Mars quake captured by the NASA InSight mission. The team says information about the quake will help determine the structure of the planet's crust, including its global thickness and density, which can help humans determine which spot on Mars is the safest to build a base for future manned missions. Seismic activity on on Mars usually happens after meteorite impacts. What's really interesting for the case on Mars is that we, we get these signals from magnitude of 4.6 uh, quake on Mars, right? If I actually go back to the Earth and look at 4.6 magnitude of an earthquake and try to look for these signals, you know, I might not be able to. I mean, this is uh, this is too small. The quake is too small. Researchers were able to calculate the Martian crust is much thicker than that of the Earth or its moon. The new research also explained the mysterious contrast between the hemispheres of Mars, revealing that the crust is deeper in the south than the north. You want to actually look for some flat lands, lower elevations to get um, higher atmospheric pressure. Also, you want um, somewhere sort of in the lowland, low-lying sort of area to reduce the intense radiation environment on Mars. And also you want to think about, you know, what are these subsurface water resources, such as subsurface ice. These things to be, I think, needs to be all considered. When the time does come for future missions to Mars, these scientists recommend bringing along a seismologist. I think it's important for seismologists to be included in those like pioneering groups because we get to actually, you know, provide some economic, uh, economical information uh, from subsurface, such as ore deposits, geothermal resources, you know, water and ice, and which are all the key, I mean, not just economics, but basically key components to basically survive on a completely another uh, planetary bodies in our solar system.